Now, at 7.43, we are talking about sugar because we're regularly told that eating or drinking too much sugar is simply not good enough, uh, good for us, in fact. Now, a leading cardiologist says that we should stop eating it altogether unless it is naturally occurring in our food. Yes, he's Dr. Asim al -Hotru. He says guideline daily amounts need to be overhauled so people realise just how unhealthy sugar can be. So, he joins us now, as you can see. Um, very good morning to you. Good morning. How much sugar should we be eating? How much does the Department of Health tell us that we're allowed to have? And why do you think that that isn't helpful? Okay. First of all, you do not really need any added sugar in your diet for your normal requirements for nutrition. Because there's enough naturally... Absolutely. Within milk, occurring. within whole fruit, within vegetables, we have intrinsic sugars. Mm. Um, but actually, the current guidelines haven't been updated for the last 10 years. And in fact, what's happened is they have ad they've confused added sugars and total sugars. So the current guidelines suggest that you can be having 90 grams of total sugar in your diet per day, which is the, the equivalent of 22 teaspoons of sugar. But that doesn't differentiate between added sugars and total sugars. And that's part of the problem. Now, since, and this, these guidelines have not been updated for the last 10 years. Since in the last 10 years, we have overwhelming scientific evidence now linking excess sugar consumption with type 2 diabetes and obesity, and in fact, all the conditions we call the metabolic syndrome. So that's type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, fatty liver disease, cardiovascular disease. Mm -hmm. To add to that, in 2009, the American Heart Association actually published a statement saying that for the average man, you should be consuming no more than nine teaspoons of added sugar, for the average woman, six teaspoons. And in fact, the US Department of Agriculture in 2005 said for a child who's aged four to eight, it should be no more than three teaspoons okay. of added sugar per day. All right. You say we all get enough sugar naturally. The Sh Sugar Nutrition UK, funded principally by UK sugar manufacturers, says the scientific evidence has concluded that sugar is not implicated as a cause of lifestyle diseases such as diabetes, heart disease or obesity. Like all sources of calories, sugar can be consumed within a healthy, calorie-balanced diet and lifestyle. There's two things I'd say to that. One is the evidence is not in keeping with that statement. In fact, mm -hmm. the largest study that was conducted um, in February, which was published in February, which came out of Stanford University, involved 175 countries looking at sugar consumption worldwide. And that revealed for every 150 calories of sugar consumption above, above our normal quota, so typical of a can of cola, for example, that was associated with an 11-fold increase in the risk of type 2 diabetes, independent of body weight, independent of physical activity levels. Yeah, OK, so we've got a couple of examples here. We have some yoghurt and we have some porridge. Uh, and the larger glass of sugar is the amount that of added sugar that a woman should be consuming no more of than per day. Just tell us about the porridge and the yoghurt first. The porridge is one of those flavoured porridges you get in a pot. How much added sugar are we getting if we consume that? Well, without naming any brands, there are a lot of porridges and cereals out there that have four to five, maybe even six teaspoons of added sugar within them. I actually have the, the normal porridge myself. That doesn't have any added sugar in it. And also, just to put it in perspective for your viewers, because people associate sugar with energy, you don't need any added sugar for energy. So. I personally, a few weeks ago, ran a half marathon with no added sugar whatsoever, just from having Which, simple porridge. Just on the, the porridge yeah. alone. So hang on, so this bowl of porridge is manufactured, ha has naturally occurring sugar, presumably in the grain Absolutely, anyway. which is fine. And then how many teaspoons is added to it? It can add, f some of them have four or five teaspoons of added okay. sugar, and then you purely may, for the taste. And then you may find yourself adding another packet of sugar on the top. Absolutely. Right. Fizzy drinks, carbonated beverages, uh, get a lot of stick for, for sugar, but the Director General of the British Soft Drink Association says sugar sweetened soft drinks provide only 2% of calories in the average diet and consumption of soft drinks containing added sugar has been in decline even while obesity rates have been rising. OK, well, that's slightly misleading. What I would say, first of all, is this 2% average, um, you know, this has obviously come from the industry, but we know that up to a third of children's sugar consumption comes from sugary drinks. And sugary drinks in particular are quite harmful because there are a high concentration of added sugar um, that uh, is toxic to the liver. We know biochemically it's in, in, implicated in type 2 diabetes and obesity, and they're empty calories. There's no mm -hmm. nutritional value in them whatsoever. So that's slightly misleading. Okay. What then do you think... Department of Health should be telling people? Well, first of all, these guidelines have not been updated for the last 10 years, so the UK Scientific Committee on Nutrition and the Department of Health have to pressurise the European Food Standards Agency, where this comes from, these guidelines come from, to update the guidelines on sugar. Just to give you a very simple perspective, a typical can of cola 
um, has nine teaspoons of added sugar on the label, which disturbed me, and this is why I did this my own research on this. On the label, it says this represents 38% of your guide, guideline daily amount. That suggests that you can have two and a half cans of Coke. Coca-Cola or cola a day and that would be fine. That it, isn't, it isn't fine at all. Thank you very much indeed. We should add that we did ask yes. 10 different uh, organisations or companies associated with carbonated beverages, supermarkets, sugar manufacturers, etc. 10 of them to come and discuss this with Dr Malhotra on the sofa. Two sent a statement. Uh, all of them were unavailable. Thanks very much indeed. Thank you.